I want people, I want women to be able to come to my, my channel and see things aren't going to be perfect, but they are going to be possible. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well and that you are enjoying Vlogmas. Shout out to everybody who has been watching the Glowing and Growing Diaries that have been coming out every day for the last six days. I am so proud of myself for the consistency, but I'm even more so grateful that you guys have been watching, commenting, liking, sharing, all of it, your encouragement means the world to me. And so thank you all so much and continue to keep up because baby, we're about to hop on another flight, okay? I hope that you enjoyed the Egypt vlog. It was an honor getting to take you along the journey with me. If you haven't watched it already, it's gonna be in the iCards. Very shortly after I came back from Egypt, literally two days after I landed back, I took a train up to Cambridge to go and get my master's degree and best believe I vlogged the day, okay? I think a lot of people had a bit of confusion around how I actually got my master's degree. And so not only am I gonna be sharing that vlog with you today, but also I wanted to come and talk about how I have been investing in my education and also share with you some possible future plans, hopes for my career and my education so that we can go on this journey together. I've definitely been inspired by the likes of Vika TV, Dr. Amina here on YouTube, who have shared their academic journeys almost in real time with you all. And I feel like there is so much uh, vulnerability in that. I hope that this is something that will also be inspiring to you to think about pursuing your future goals and also your desires for your career and your education, but also an encouragement to let you know that you can invest in your education in any way, whether that be formal education, informal education, educating yourself about life. You are never too old and it is never too late to actually push yourself to grow. I want to encourage you, my sisters to invest in yourself in every way possible and so let's get into the master's vlog shall we it's a very lovely day in Cambridge and people are dressed all like summery and nice Also, did I mention that I am very much so late? Um, I haven't been to my college in ages, but I'm very much so late and they are having a chapel service, which I'm clearly not attending because I need to collect my gown. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm ready, yes, I'm dead. I don't know how I ended up at the front of the line, but I'm at the front of the line. So we just got to Senate House and it's hot, like it's very, sorry, vlogging. <laughs> Mandatory for the job, very warm, like I'm sweating in this gown. But we it was much worse last time. We graduated last time on the hottest day of the year. So this is far better. There's actually a breeze today. I always want to do but stay. You got something real not basic. You wanna get with me, stop. So you're happy? Very happy. Aww. Very happy. Hey Renee. <laughs> you just called my friend, she's a master now. Yeah, a I have a master's degree now. I have a master's degree now. I have a master's degree now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yep, stand back up and then step towards me. You ruined my video. An MA face. MA Canada. So I just dropped my mum off um, to get a taxi to the station. She's heading back home. Um, and Renee went to meet her sister to go and get some dinner. And I'm going to meet them after I go and drop my gown. So I'm heading back to college um, to drop my gown off. And that will pretty much be the end of the day. You know what's so mad? Like when you reunite with your classmates and you have to all like give tales of 
this is what I've been doing, this is where I have been and you know this is basically what my life has been like post-graduation and I was kind of a bit nervous about it because my, my journey hasn't been very straightforward but I think in taking time and I just have been over the last month because of my birthday and stuff like that and obviously with this graduation and stuff just taking time to reflect on like what the last three four years post-graduation have actually been for me and I'm so proud of myself I am so proud of the person that I am and the, the things that I have done and the person I'm becoming um, and the things that I do I'm just so grateful I'm so proud of my story um, I'm blessed I really am So a few of you were quite confused as to how I actually got my master's degree because it wasn't like I was enrolled into a one year master's program where I was reading and writing a dissertation and doing all of that. No, I actually received an honorary master's degree. So for most people, I think for everybody who studies an undergraduate degree at the University of Cambridge or the University of Oxford, a few years after you graduate, as long as you graduate, you receive an honorary master's degree. Now girl, as much as I didn't study for it formally I was studying for it hard when I was doing my undergrad that degree was so hard I am still so proud to this day and I will never take for granted or minimize the fact that I got a degree from the University of Cambridge now I'm not gonna lie it won't be my entire legacy because my legacy is gonna be so much bigger than that but it is a part of it because childhood Courtney Courtney from North London estate would never have thought that I would ever go to the University of Cambridge. And so just in honor of her, 10 year old Courtney, I will never stop bigging that up. But that undergrad was hard. And so listen, my mom's already put that degree certificate on the wall nobody's taking it away from me but yeah I didn't do a formal master's degree I got an honorary one so I do have an MA next to my name and I'm a stick beside there but since graduating I've actually done some further investing into my education which has come in the form of taking online courses I am currently pursuing getting a certificate of specialization from Harvard Business School online I have done I'm nearly fin literally I'm here on my laptop working and I've paused to record this video so that I can post because I don't want to miss a, another vlogmas day I really don't I'm about to have done two out of three courses which I need to complete in order to do it I have been pursuing this since early summer and it has been a journey like I have been in several countries even on TM the TMS retreat like just in different places scrambling for wi-fi scrambling to meet deadlines i've been working really hard on getting this and i'm so proud of myself for doing it um it has been a paid course and of all the savings that i saved up last year i had to put aside some of it because i wanted to like have an education investment fund or just have a pot of money that was dedicated to me investing in my career and my education because i don't think i am done studying i'm definitely not done learning and to to my sisters and the work that we have gotten to do as well as what we have gotten to build has required me to really stretch my capacity in building organizations and this certificate of specialization in leadership and management consists of me taking three different courses so the first one was power and impact for positive influence my brain really must have been tired because it's definitely power and influence for positive impact i swear i passed the class guys and the second one which i'm about to finish is in organizational leadership I really pray that I pass it but yeah it's an organizational leadership and the next one will be in strategy implementation now at this point sisters please pray that I pass because the course is definitely strategy execution come on Courtney and the reason why I wanted to get this was because upon reflecting on my work experience and my educational experience I've realized that as much as some people may view and I used to have this view that I don't use my degree I actually really do I have this degree in political and social sciences and every week on the podcast and even here on my channel, we sit down and have really good, I would like to think, they are really good conversations about social issues and how they impact our lives. We get to cover an array of topics and be critical, evaluative, but also expansive in the way that we discuss them. And I think my degree contributes to me being able to have these conversations and even having an interest in these conversations in the 
the first place. I think it makes me a better communicator, a better evaluator and a better debater to some extent. But I've also worked in e-commerce and in content creation and in business development and I've ran my own business for three years. Also, I don't think that it's a coincidence that every single work role I have had has involved serving women in some capacity. God really knows what he's doing. But if you want to know more about my career journey, then you can watch this video here. I love creating products and platforms and content which are actually impactful and helpful, which is what led me to go and take the Power and Influence for Positive Impact course in the first place. And so I really want to pursue that. I really want to see how I can become somebody who has expert knowledge about digital entrepreneurship and how we can build things on the internet and use the internet for positive impact. But I really want to know how to do that and to encourage other people to use the internet in a very similar way that I have. I have never worked for anybody since graduating and it has been a challenge and trust me a big reason why I even went to go and get this course in the first place was because because I've never worked for anyone or with a lot of people I don't really know how working really works if that makes sense. There's a lot of skills you pick up at work which aren't even specific to your role like how to be organized within an organization or how to professionally communicate projects tasks how to set a strategy, KPIs, all these little, is it anagrams, acronyms? Ciao, do you have a degree or not? Anyway, um, all of these little words that people say and these terms that people say when it comes to corporate life, which I didn't really understand because I've never really worked in it, right? And so this has given me a sharp focus to be able to learn it without having to go down the route of formal corporate traditional experience, if that makes sense, or traditional corporate experience. And so that was the strategy behind me getting this online course. And in the future, I really want to focus on being a specialist in digital entrepreneurship because the internet has allowed for me to work for myself. It has allowed for me to build businesses, to create digital communities, to share content which has gone on to shape organisations. Like when I went back to get my master's degree, I was bumping into loads of people who worked at the university who were like, we know who you are. Like so many people talk about you in interviews and I'm not saying this to boast. I'm saying this to say, damn, the internet is really powerful and my gosh, God, is good right so many people talk about you at their interviews like diversity and access has increased and I was not I did not do that alone but I think the use of social media by the university by me by other you know Cambridge YouTubers by other educational YouTubers by other public figures like Stormzy so much of the internet has helped make change in such an old and powerful institution and then I look at what we've done with TMS building a digital sisterhood community connecting women from all over the world around similar stories and conversation and investment into our personal development and our desire to even have friends in the first place the internet did that you know and knowing how to use the internet and then I reflect on my e-commerce experience and how I was able to build a brand and build a company which made six figures and was paying me it was helping me it helped me save for all of these traits for you know to be able to invest in my education to be able to move out of my mum's house like all of that because of the internet and so I want to really understand and be a, a professional in or a specialist in and be able to help people understand and use the business of the internet and that's what I want to that's what I want to focus on and I really wanted to come and share that because you guys have seen my life unfold especially since I started this channel whilst I was at university you've seen me graduate you've seen me do business you've seen me um, do TMS you've seen me you know work on my personal life as well and my physical health you have given me a lot of language to actually put to the seasons of my life like I come on here sometimes and you guys think sorry London weather the sun is setting at a grand old 2.43 in the afternoon, the sun is beginning, beginning to set. But um, let, me, let me just be quick with this. Thank you, just thank you for, for giving me your time and your input into my life because as much as I come on here and it's you know my name on the channel or whatever, I'm just a young woman who's trying to figure it out. Like I'm, tr I'm just trying to figure out my life. I'm going through existential crisis too. I'm going through quarter life crisis too. And so many of you are as well, but I have so many women on this channel who will take the time to even comment and be like, you know what, Courtney, what about this? Have you thought about this? Here's my advice. This is what I've been through. 
and I remember uploading a couple videos ago about my career journey and somebody you know put in the comments oh you sound like you've had a portfolio career that was a term I had never heard of in my life and then I went to do some searching around it and I was like that's exactly what I am and this is a legitimate thing and people do this for their whole life and that gave me so much encouragement because I realized that what I was trying to do wasn't impossible and I think that that's what I want to always be a testament of in on the internet I want people I want women to be able to come to my my channel and see things aren't going to be perfect but they are going to be possible your dreams are possible the journey there ain't always easy but they're definitely possible and I I'm so proud of how far I've been able to come. I'm so proud of how far we've been able to come. But also I know that I can pursue my goals and pursue my dreams. And I want to use this channel as a documentation of that because I want other women who are single, who are young, who are feeling underrepresented, who feel as though they're, they're punching above their weight in terms of life to demand more of life and to really go and get it. And I know that, and I've said this before, I don't know if it's on the podcast or here, I know that being a go-getter isn't just about your own personal motivation. A lot of times this is a resourcing issue, a social issue, a political issue, and I want to be a part of that change as well. I want to to build systemic change or to at least you know raise up resources or equip people with what they need so that the obstacles that stand in their way for them to pursue their goals and the life that they really want to lead can be broken and just set to the side and they can just run full speed ahead towards actualizing purpose and discovering their own passions and being as impactful and if not more impactful than I am. I want to help women live the lives that they've always wanted to live and I want to live the life that I've always wanted to live and that has has to come through continuously investing in myself and investing in my future by equipping myself with education with knowledge um and putting this mind and even this platform to use really and truly vlogmas day six was me creating this video for myself <laughs> to come back and look at and be like girl you still have work to do but the work is worthy of your effort okay and that's just a message for anybody out there if you've always if you wanted to go back to school and you don't know how to do some online courses if you can i'm doing the harvard business school online courses um like i said these ones i've done are paid for um and i get that certificate of specialization at the end but they do loads of free courses if you can please go on there go on course era damn go on skillshare like go anywhere you can to just learn i know somebody commented under my last video for me to share my top five personal development books i'd be happy to do that to share like books i'm reading things that are helping me on my journey um not just you know to do with business and management and leadership but also just with life. I think this is another thing to help redirect our focus from comparing ourselves to other people, from, you know, feeling down and stagnant in life. How about we actually redirect some of that energy into investing in ourselves and we reclaim our time, reclaim our attention and put it on ourselves and put it on our journeys and put it on our futures. This channel doesn't exist for you to come here and watch my story unfold. It's to inspire you to to subscribe yeah and then go off and then live the life you want to live and build the life that you want to live make sure you're subscribed though heavy on that okay um but yeah i i just wanted to come and share that as well as just share the whole master's footage i hope it was encouraging this was definitely a ramble but yeah like i said this video is as much as for you as it is for me so I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you tomorrow because vlogmas, duh. And soon we'll be flying out to our next destination. Can you guess where we're going? To be honest, if you follow me on Instagram, then you may know where we're going. But um, this one ain't a solo trip. It's a girl's trip, baby. So yeah, I'll talk to you very, very soon. And as always, stay beautiful and stay blessed. I need to go and do my coursework. Mwah.